Cahillach. There's been a lot of good news for the County Tipperary with the establishment of the Technological University of the Shannon, which will host more than 14,000 students across six campuses, including Carmel and Torlis. It is past time that we saw such positive developments such as this for my own county. Now that such changes and reforms are being made, the bill we have here before us today is of extreme importance. Sinn Féin believes that all colleges should be given a greater degree of flexibility in terms of governance structures, so long as necessary criteria in terms of functioning and accountability are met. I believe this to be of particular importance to the Technological University of the Shannon, given the large geographical area it covers. Since Monday, January 22, the Technological University of the Shannon started inviting expressions of interest from external candidates to join its governing body. Given the fact that the development of the TUS <coughs> will prove to be so transformative for the regions concerned, it is crucial that there is adequate representations from all sides involved in university life. 2018 legislation to establish technological universities allowed for broad membership of up to 22 or 26, depending on the number of institutes of technologies that merge. I question why limiting this to 17 is seen as appropriate, given the geographical breadth of what we are talking about here. So given the broadness, geographical and institutionality of the TUS and the potentials that are involved, I feel there needs to be flexibility in terms of the level of representation allowed for universities of this status. This bill also contains mention of promoting a student-focused system. While I welcome that, it appears that the proposed reform of governing bodies could result in students having less representation in governing bodies. I would appreciate any clarity the Minister could provide on these concerns. The world, and indeed this country, is changing rapidly these days. Progress is speeding up. This is the case in terms of technological advances, <clears throat> and it is equally the case of issues of personal development, equality, and matters of tolerance and inclusivity. This rapid level of progression must be factored in when we are discussing the issue of representation on boards of institutions. There are many aspects of this bill that I welcome, including student representation on the board of the HEA, and again, this is where the importance of adequate and board representation cannot be overemphasised. And while I also welcome the fact that the improvements have been made in some areas during pre-legislative scrutiny, such as the inclusion of specific roles for the HEA in promoting cross-border cooperation in higher education, Sinn Féin would still like to see a specific role in promoting cross-border student enrolment. I also recognise the establishment of the National Apprenticeship Office, but we need certainty that this is not used as an opportunity to dismantle the craft apprenticeship model. And finally, I want to bring to the attention of how some people are not qualifying for sports to continue in their education. People need to be supported and encouraged in their ambition to improve the prospects of their families, not told to give up their education to avail of such sports. Thank you, Deputy